Lunch, a toucan in fruit acrylic painting, part five. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you part five of my toucan and fruit painting. This one is actually going to be the toucan. I spent so long painting all of the fruit before the toucan that by the time I actually got to this I was so eager to finally work on this beautiful, beautiful little birdie that I was just, I was so excited to work on him. I hope you guys have eagerly awaited this part of the tutorial as well. I love toucans, obviously, so I hope you like this too and don't forget to check the description box below to see all the other tutorials that are available as well as a time lapse and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So I'm going to start with his beak and so I began on his upper mandible with really really bright green paint and I'm just going to be filling in the area that is green and then adding just a little bit of a blue down near um, where it attaches to his head and then at the very end of his beak I'm going to be adding that really dark burgundy color and highlighting things kind of as I go and sort of blending the burgundy into the green and then same thing with the orange just sort of subtly sort of muffling the line between the colors just so it's not so abrupt. And you also wanna add a little bit of a serrated edge on the beak just a little bit with that orange. And then I'm gonna go through and kind of add the same colors to the lower mandible, beginning with that green once again, and then adding some blue going around it. Same thing though, kind of blend those colors together a little bit so these divisions in color aren't so abrupt. Then add orange right along the inside while adding those little, little serrations, and then finishing off the tip with that burgundy. And same thing, kind of blend them together a little bit. And with the green, don't leave it just a solid green. I blended in some darker green and some yellow and some blue, just little bits to kind of break up the monotony of color. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of a highlight with some diluted white paint after all that has dried. And then just kind of touching up things here and there with that just a little bit. And their beak isn't perfectly smooth. It's got a little bit of a ridge on it on the side. So you want to make sure you highlight that ridge. And then also add with some charcoal I just went through and sort of defined the lower edge of both the upper and lower mandible there. Just to make sure that there was a nice sharpness to it. And then sail, still with that diluted charcoal paint I'm going to go through and add those little stripes that are on the beak so just a little bit coming up from the center and then coming down from the center so i first added them with really diluted paint and then i went through and sort of darkened them in the middle so that they faded to the darkest point in the center of each stripe and then faded back out and now i'm going to be painting the grave that he is holding in his beak starting with that purple then blending in just a little bit of a burgundy just to break up the color a little bit and then adding a white highlight and a little bit of a charcoal on there the low light adding the little spit of little stem that's left on there and then i'm going to be adding a drip that is coming off the grape um painting these bright colorful things is one of my favorite things to do as well as painting liquid i absolutely love painting liquid although i don't think there's many videos of it of me painting liquid on youtube the my first video the frogs and the martini glass that one has some liquid in it but i just wanted to say that i really enjoy doing that so i had to add a drip in from that grape absolutely so then to finish or to continue working on my toucan i did i just added a little bit of black that goes around the yellow and then I added the yellow and did some color breakup on that with some green and some white and then added little white lines to create the little feather texture and I'm going to be working on his eye you want to add some teal or turquoise around his eye just a little bit or aqua color and then add his eye with green brown black white and charcoal and then add a little bit of a highlight on there just like that and a couple almost wrinkled looking things going around his eye and then I'm going to be adding the black feathers and black feathers as well as black fur that is one of the I think probably one of the hardest things animal wise to paint because it's just black right well you have to add all of those little subtle textures in there and for this toucan I wanted him to have kind of a reflection of a very slight aqua color so in or within the highlights the ones that aren't quite as bright the ones that are a little bit on the darker side I added some aqua instead of going with gray and I know that um, I've painted a crow that's not the other blackbird that I painted um, with him I did blue blue highlights so you want to make sure that you kind of give a tone to the black with the highlight. So for him, it's aqua. So then I just went and finished off filling in his body with that black paint just to add a layer on it. I always like to do that before I start going in with highlights and things because if you do it like that, if a little bit of it shows through, it's not that big a deal and you don't have to redo your highlights if there's a little bit of the under under thing showing through it's not just canvas so i'm going to go through and add the highlights like i said it is with aqua i know that it just kind of looks gray but there's a very subtle tone to it that probably doesn't even really show up in the video but that you do get from having the aqua instead of a gray so that kind of just defined the wings and the tail and the stomach and then i'm going to go through with black paint and i'm going to be first outlining all of the feathers in the wings the feathers on their chest they're much more down they're much more um fluffy and smooth and small and fine whereas the ones on the wings are flight feathers so they've got much more of a they look like a regular feather you can see all the little 
pieces, all the barbs on them. So make sure that you go through and you do that. So add the feather, then add the quill down the center, just or outline the feather, add the quill, and then add the barbs off the quill, all with black. You don't want to over highlight your black objects, your black feathers. You want them to kind of remain on the subtle side, but you do need to add highlights to them because otherwise it's just going to look completely flat. So it's kind of a balance there. So now I'm gonna go through with full strength white paint and I'm going to be highlighting all of those feathers on the wing, as well as just a little couple highlights on the chest beyond the wing. So just very subtle little white dabs just along each of the quills. And then add a little bit of some burgundy color right at the base of the tail. Just a little bit, kind of blend that up in. And now I'm going to be working on his feet and I'm going to just first cover them with a layer of blue paint and make sure that I perfect the shape of their feet, of his feet. Um, Cause I, with the pineapple and everything, they got a little bit morphed, my sketches kind of disappeared. So I'm just gonna go through and refine them and then add charcoal over his toenails. I have an obsession with animal feet I don't know where it came from, but it is it is true. I have a red-eared slider, a turtle, and I was letting her run around my house a couple days ago, and I picked her up, and I would just fell in love with her feet all over again. They're just amazing. I love animal feet, so this was a really exciting part of this painting for me. And then I just added a little bit of a highlight with some white and a little bit of a low light on the toenails with black, and then I'm going to define the shapes of the feet with some charcoal, and I just added a shadow on the toes and then I'm gonna go through with they've got scales on their toes so I'm just gonna outline all of the scales on there they're bigger along the legs around the front and around the front of the toes and then down the sides they get to be a little smaller almost more like a pebble and so then I'm going to be doing that on the other foot just outlining those and if you use a diluted color that's not quite so intense you can pretty much just leave them there because it looks like shadows and then with diluted aqua paint I'm gonna go through and just add the little highlights on each of those scales and really make sure that the feet look nice and dimensional just like that when the one the toe that's underneath his body more don't highlight that one as much you want to make sure that one kind of stays on the darker side but you do need to highlight it a little bit and now i'm going to be adding the shadows underneath my toucan and under his feet with some diluted black paint and also add just a little bit more along the top edge of the pineapple because he is going to be blocking some light he I mean he does have some mass to him and then i also add just a couple feathers going over the tops of each leg and now i'm going to be adding the black stripe that goes right along the front or right between his face and his beak or his eye and his beak because for some reason i forgot to do that before so i started out with just adding it with black and then i'm going to start highlighting it with some aqua same thing same color and i'm going to go through and i also added some blue in this one so i'm just going to be doing those subtle outlines on there and the subtle little highlights just to make sure that everything does show up really good and that part is pretty shiny so you do want some more intense highlights for it on the top of it and that is it for painting the toucan like i said this was definitely my favorite part of this painting that and the pineapple i'm not sure i love both of those so much those are the parts i was really looking forward to so i hope you like those and check out my facebook and instagram accounts to see more of my art things that i don't have videos for and i will see you in my next video bye